In this video, we are going to provide full guide on 18 suitable ways to handle hypersomnia. The first question that comes to mind is, what is hypersomnia? Let's find out without any further delay. Hypersomnia is a condition in which you feel excessive sleepiness during the day. It may occur even after long stretches of sleep. Another name for hypersomnia is excessive daytime sleepiness, EDS. It can be a primary condition or a secondary condition. If you are suffering from such condition, here we are suggesting 18 suitable ways to handle hypersomnia in adults. Point number one. Take naps whenever possible. Naps reduce feelings of sleepiness and increase alertness but also improve performance in areas such as reaction time, coordination, logical reasoning, memory consolidation, symbol recognition, mood, and emotion regulation. There is also evidence to suggest daytime naps may decrease blood pressure in some individuals. It also helps to overcome hypersomnia. Point number two. Maintain a regular sleep schedule. Keeping a regular sleep schedule, even on weekends, maintains the timing of the body's internal clock and can help you fall asleep and wake up more easily. People are most likely to be at their sleepiest at two points, between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. and between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. Maintaining a proper sleep schedule can help in dealing hypersomnia and associated depression. Point number three. Take help from friends and family. Friends and family have the major role play in our lives. It is important to surround ourselves with family and friends for support and comfort in both times of joy and distress. Studies have shown that having supportive relationships is a strong protective factor against mental illnesses, also to treat hypersomnia with associated feelings of depression and helps to increase our mental well-being. Point number four. Create peaceful sleeping environment. Temperature, lighting, and noise should be controlled to make the bedroom conducive to falling and staying asleep. Your bed should feel comfortable and if you have a pet that sleeps in the room with you, consider having the pet sleep somewhere else if it tends to make noise in the night. Darkness is important for deep, restorative sleep and a regular sleep clock. Make use of eye blinds can enhance your sleep quality. Point number 5. Avoid alcohol. For those people who occasionally use alcohol, it improves sleep initially. But high alcohol doses result in sleep disturbances and hypersomnia. Studies have shown that consumption of alcohol and other drugs results in lower sleep quality. Point number six. Avoid medications. Medicines such as antidepressant may cause feeling of drowsiness. If you want to stop feeling of drowsiness that may lead to hypersomnia, it is recommended to go for other activities. Indulging in walking, exercising, and setting up other daily routine changes can help prevent drowsiness and hypersomnia. Point number seven. Avoid working late at night. Working for a long period of time may increase the chances of mental issues. Overburdenizing and staying up late at night may increase the risk for heart disease. It disrupts your circadian rhythm and hence increase hypersomnia at some stage of your life. Point number 8. Sleep few hours long at night. In order to deal with hypersomnia and depression issues, the best thing is to wind up all your work and go to bed. Maybe you are facing hypersomnia because you could not sleep well at night or have trouble sleep. So. It is essential to have great sound sleep at night. Point number 9. Exercise daily. Regular exercise can improve sleep quality and duration. However, exercising immediately before bedtime can have a stimulant effect on the body and should be avoided. Try to finish exercising at least 3 hours before you plan to retire for the night to better deal with hypersomnia issues. Point number 10. Do enjoyable activities. Doing activities that fascinate you like walking, listening music, playing or outing with friends or family. These pleasurable activities increase your mental attention and divert you from being passive and getting into feeling of depression. Point number 11. Use bed for sleep only. The bed is for sleeping and having sex, and that's it. If you suffer from sleep problems, do not balance the checkbook, study, or make phone calls, such as in bed or even in the bedroom, and avoid watching television or listening to the radio. All these activities can increase alertness and make it difficult to fall asleep. Point number 12. Avoid eating heavy meal. Conventional wisdom says that eating before bed causes weight gain because your metabolism slows down when you fall asleep. Eating a large meal before bed can disrupt your sleep. If you could not sleep soundly, then you will feel low in energy when wake up. Hence, avoid taking heavy meals to prevent hypersomnia and energy issues. Point number 13. Reduce stress. Now the question is how to reduce stress. 
Several relaxation therapies and stress reduction methods can relax the mind and body before going to bed. It includes progressive muscle relaxation, deep breathing techniques, meditation, etc. When your body is physically relaxed, you cannot feel anxious. Point number 14. Stimulants. Doctor may prescribe you some stimulant to prevent hypersomnia. Stimulants induce alertness, elevated mood, wakefulness, increased speech, and motor activity and decrease appetite. The major stimulant drugs are amphetamines and related compounds, methylxanthines, methylated purines, cocaine, and nicotine. Point number 15. Antidepressants. Antidepressants, such as fluoxetine, Prozac, Cytolopram, Celexa, Peroxidine, Paxil, Sertraline, Zoloft, Sodium Oxybate, Xyram, is used to treat excessive daytime sleepiness. It should be noted that when these medications are used for sleeping and pain relieving properties, it is in much lower doses than when used in the treatment of depression. Point number 16. Counseling. Psychotherapy is the use of psychological methods, particularly when based on regular personal interaction with adults, to help a person change behavior and overcome problems in desired ways. The counselor helps you to address your problems in a positive way by helping you to clarify the issues, explore options, develop strategies, and increase self-awareness. Point number 17. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. The therapy is used to help you identify attitudes and beliefs that hinder your sleep. These negative thoughts involve worries and stress that keep you awake. A therapist enables you to process your thoughts and feelings about sleep. Point number 18. Ruling out other mental issues. A physician or medical practitioner will rule out other sleep disorders, medication side effects, substance misuse, depression, and other physical and mental illnesses. Some medications and medical conditions can affect sleep. If the above mentioned ways would not benefit, they must go to the clinician to diagnose the cause. Don't forget to like this video and check out our previous videos. That's all folks. Stay healthy. Stay beautiful.